Hey, what is going on guys? This is Ben here, and today, bring you another Boom Beach video. And like I said in the past videos, I am doing like a bunch of full boost attack series or whatever, mini series like I've done a couple months ago. So I thought it was good to do the run through attack strategies again. I'm using the RZM today. I'm going to be wearing this shirt, have the same haircut and same look for the next couple videos if you're seeing a full boost video. But today, using the Rifleman, RZM, Zuka, whatever, two of my ice statues are back there. If you guys want to see, I'm going to do this probably every video now. Show you the troops that I'm using with the boost. Rifleman, Zuka, Medic. <laughs> Full boost of Medic, who cares. But Gunboat has like insane amount, I forget what it is. 142. There we go. Can be taking on some players, some resource bases. No, nah, not resource base, not with these. Some players, NPC bases, and then we're, we're splitting it up though, because we got to... We gotta save some of the player bases for some other attack strategy, but this was the guy that I could not beat with the Grenadiers. So, what we, since we don't have to worry about the boom cannons anymore, we just need to worry about the shocks, the rockets, and this guy does have two doom cannons. Take out these, got another barrage, and I don't have to worry about any saving any GBE to drop my troops, so there we go. Getting right into this one. This, does, this guy does have four ice. He already defended me twice with the Grenadiers from earlier today, but that's okay. From earlier today, but that's okay. Okay, oh, dude, I should, be, I should be a rapper, man. Man, my max is getting pretty, pretty, pretty noisy, too. Here we go, we're going over here. Throwing down those. Um, hmm. We're going to... Uh, what do I want to do? That. As long as my troops or my riflemen stay up, we should be good. This guy's ice is pretty strong, but I think we have enough troops deployed that we can just drop critters and say, get on that HQ RZM or Zookas that are alive still. And we should be able to take it out. I am going to shock over here. Throw on just a med kit for the remaining weapon. Boom. Toshi. Tough base. For sure, for sure. Probably gets a lot of diamonds from defenses, man. I'm still a long way from getting that, but there we go. Beat him. Lost quite a bit of riflemen. That was that was to be expected. Gonna do that. Move on down the line. Got a level 54. Nothing too crazy. And I've seen this base quite a bit too. A lot of the base designs are really similar now, because a lot of people just copy the top players, but why wouldn't you? Like, I don't mind people doing that, because uh, if it's working, just copy it, man, right? So here we go. Weakened everything, pretty much. Take those out, and now we're good to go. Drop the troops. No splash damage, no shocks. All there is is the shock blaster. But the, we're not worried about that. This guy doesn't have any. <laughs> he doesn't have any ice statues, man. He's got four G. Okay, this guy is probably a warrior rusher, man. Look at the troop health or troop damage guardians and all that GBE. Oh my god. I may revert back to this sort of sort of strategy, just so I can beat like ice bases easily. I might do that, but then again, that requires you to be so active. Um, if you want to rise in medals when you have all offensive uh, because a lot of times some days I just forget to clear my map so I'm not as uh, what's it called I'm not as dedicated to clear my map like twice a day and stuff like that and that's what you would have to do if you went full offensive so I think I might keep some ice but back in the day this was I had those types of ice statues or guardians and stuff like that and I kind of miss it but whatever Boom, but I, on the other hand, I don't really miss it. I don't know. I do miss it because of how strong your attacks can be. Like it's ridiculous. Um, and back in the day, I'm saying like back in the day, probably like two months ago, all, all offensive was like the way to go. Until Hammerman appeared and uh, the prototype modules, I was always all offensive. But this is an interesting base. Can easily take out. All the rockets. I used a lot of artillery shots. There's a lot of sniper towers. Uh, we'll 
let's shock him. Why not? Maybe throw down some critters because we can, just to help out. Distract, so the goal is to lose as least riflemen as possible. There we go, going to get it. Boom, 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 boom. Shock, shock. Bang, bang. Go over there. Tiller shot. Um, why is my, why are they going all the way back there? I didn't, I didn't think I flared that far back. Maybe I misclicked. It's alright, it, ha it happens. But we're taking on the base. Boom. You guys like my little singing ability there? Isn't it pretty good? Yes! We got a crystal, so that's making it worth it. So, last video we got one crystal. Dr. Chair, we got like three crystals. So we're up to four crystals. As long as I get eight crystals back, we're good. Because uh, in one of my streams on Mobcraft, someone said this to me like, Think of it as every crystal as one power parter. Because when you reclaim a masterpiece, it requires seven um it requires seven seven crystals and you get seven power parters for reclaiming one masterpiece. So think of it as a power parter as one crystal. So basically whenever you get a crystal, that's one power parter if you think about it that way. So as long as I get eight of these, or eight crystals, we're good in clearing my map. If it's a little bit less, nah. But if we get prototype modules, we'll consider that a win-win. Because -win. we need those. But, I'm going to be attacking... Um, we'll, we're saving the level 49. I want to attack the... You're online, so let's find a new opponent. I want to attack the level 49 when I do the Scorcher tank attacks. Because I just want to wipe through the base. Just complete annihilation. Here we go. Um... Thinking Scorcher tanks in my brain, I was like, oh, we need to barrage the boom cannons and doom cannons. We don't need to do that, so we're going to restart here. Ozugur. I have no idea how to say that name. Just to be completely honest with you. We're barraging the shocks and the rockets. There we go. Boom, boom. Get rid of those. Oh, yeah, we cleared them there's still one rocket we have to worry about but that's that's all right it's it's far away taking out the base the the doom cannon it hurts but it's only it's it's, it's only taking out one one johnson at a time so that's all right taking out the base again um hmm i'm deciding whether i want to shock or use critters really know but uh, I have a question for you guys how often or if you ever have you fully boosted in this game like because a lot of people are really really stingy with their power parter like myself but some people take it to a whole nother level like some people will not will not even like there's people do you think that I'm stingy with my power parter? I, I boost like at least two statues a daily but since I clear my map, like I said earlier, I don't really clear my map every day. I still do attacks every day, so I'm always gaining that crystals and power powder, and I have that good uh, power stone chance masterpiece, so I get a lot of fragments and shards, and I just keep reclaiming them, as you can probably tell. But like, if you do that, then it's okay to try and not boost all the time, but like, some people, literally, like, they won't boost for anything. Like, I know one guy in my task force a while ago, He's like, I'm not boosting until I have over a thousand power powder. And this was when, like, a while ago. This was, like, a couple, like, way, mo a couple months ago. I remember his name. His name was Sarge. And, like, <laughs> he had 500 power powder. And he's like, yep, not boosting until I get 1,000. Because I want to see what it looks like. And, like, oh, my God. They're, oh. That was a while ago. But there's some people like that that don't even boost. And even if they have more power powder than me. So... I know a lot of you do though, like boost and boost like a little bit more than you should, but that's because you gotta plan well. If you plan well, you're you're good. Like what I do, as you can see, like a lot of times when I have a big boost for myself, like oh whoops, I shot the shocks. Hashtag shock shocks. What I do is I record videos while that boost is on, because I think it's because I need a lot of times I need to I need to boost to clear my map nowadays with how much ice I'm running into, but. Now, also, because I think it's cool videos if I'm full boost and stuff. So I'll record a lot of videos when I have the boost, and then I'll sync that in time with Dr. Terror. Um, so I'll boost when I'm taking on Dr. Terror, clearing my map and stuff like that. Uh, and then, of 
course, like, your heart falls into that category as well. <laughs> but some people don't manage it very well. Like, they'll boost maybe for just an operation attack. They'll boost, like, all that. I manage it so, like, I'll do attacks, clear my map and stuff as much as I can. And there we go, that's five crystals. Yeah. So then, and then towards the end of my boost, I'll time it perfectly so my troops get done. Because a lot of people don't use diamonds, like, say, I, like, I would for videos, but... So that kind of cuts into the time, but, like, I'll time it where my troops get done. And do the operation attack and then my boost will probably run out shortly after like that so that's how i usually time it if you guys are burning through your power part just try and time it a little better we'll do we're doing one more attack though so we have five crystals so far my map is is running out of players we got five up top there four over we can do another player we'll do another player saving that 49 we'll do the 53 Erez. okay Another style of these, like this long stretched out base. Gonna get rid of the shocks and the rockets. Um, this guy does have some ice. You can tell that already. So on a barrage. That was a waste of a barrage, to be completely honest. <laughs> Use my artillery shots. And there we go. So what do I, we're just we'll just let him go that shock actually I'm just gonna shock it I was debating whether I shock the shock blaster or not but it's really uh, that thing's really cutting into my rifleman and it's getting annoying we'll take out the rocket we'll throw down some more critters up top hopefully it deters the shock blasters a little bit because they're the one things that are really hurting my rifleman they're chewing through them We'll help take out the rocket. Flare to the shock blaster. Shock it. I missed the the boom cannon. Oh well. I was going for I was going for speed there. Come on, take it, take it down. Boom, 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 boom. Throw on some more critters because there's a lot of boom cannons and cannons. Okay, nice, nice. We'll just throw on a shock. Uh, throw on some more med kits. Pretty much just train, tr like, tr just trucked through this base here. Couldn't find the word that I wanted to use it. That's a, that's a stumbling, right? Okay. And, boom. Took it out. Give me a crystal or a prototype module. We haven't got a prototype yet. Ask and you shall receive. What do I always say? There we go. So we got the fuel capacitor. Unfortunately, we don't really need that one the most. Cause I did. I need. Cause I have one shock. I have one shock blaster made already. It's this one right here. But I need one more complex gear and one more critical fuse. But hey, it's a it's it's a prototype module. Whatever. It's good. It's good. So that's gonna wrap up for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next full boost attack will probably be scorcher tanks. I don't know. We'll see how I follow the schedule. Or maybe it was the one before this. I don't really know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me show, oh, actually, we can upgrade this right now. So, level 19 cannon on the way. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you did. And don't forget to subscribe for more Boom Beach videos if you're not ready. Hope you guys have a wonderful day or night. And I'll see you guys later.